Hey everyone, this is Bob. And Tompa. And our very special guest. I'm Fritz. So today we're looking at the Boss Waza Air amplification headphones, but it can do so much more than just headphones. It is more than yeah, headphones. Yeah, it basically they've gotten the Katana spirit and they've... Ooh, I like that. The they in injected it into spirit a... Spirit of Katana. Yeah, a smaller, a smaller form factor that uh, sits on your head and that can do so many different things. They've been out for a little while now, these headphones, a couple of weeks now, and there's been some initial buzz on it. You know, you, I'm sure you've probably seen some videos on it already, but the initial thing is just how this in-ear response to moving your head like what do they call it the gyro oh uh, yeah it's basically got um yeah gyros in there it basically tracks where your kind of head is yeah at so and, it feels yeah. like it can either the amps either behind your head or in front of you when you move and it, and it follows you so it's this really intuitive really really i i would almost say cutting edge kind of technology as yeah. far as it goes i can't think of anything else that does it like this so it, it, look we're not going to waffle on for too long about it we're just going to give you some some examples of it now i will state i haven't actually put these headphones on yet other people in the room here with us have and they've tried it i'm the only one that hasn't tried it yet so it'll be my initial response i guess when yeah when should, we're, we're should trying. be pretty exciting yeah we'll see how we go we'll start going through um i, I guess we'll just explain the headphones themselves um, so they're, they're not quite a noise cancelling headphone, but they are, they, they do cut the noise significantly. I will yeah. say that. They're, they're like most, um, studio monitor headphones that they're, they're like passive isolation. So that being said, they're really comfortable as well. You can wear them for a, a prolonged period of time, you know, an hour or a couple of hours, you, you know, ideally these are aimed at people with, I guess, noise restrictions. Yes. You know, they're in an apartment or something like that, or whether, you know, you could be on the road, you know, for, for a touring band. It could be great in, in the bus you've got, you know, or, or, you know, in your hotel room, you've got a, a little bit of downtime, you just want to play, chuck the headphones on, you're not going to annoy anybody. Yeah, you're you've just, just got up. It's just you. So it's a really, really cool concept. Another customer that I, I think that the boss have probably isolated here in a really, really good way is the, is like a, a you know, like a corporate traveler, like yeah. sales reps or or any of those sort of people um, where they're on the road and they want to be able to, to sort of break out, relax, that sort of thing. Like I mentioned, hotel rooms, you know, you can't make a lot of noise in a hotel room. But it's just know. space in their luggage as well. Like yeah, that's, that, that's it. It's it's space saving. Like yeah. literally, it's a set of headphones. It's a set of headphones and a, and a mobile device. Yeah. This you know, whether it's an iPad or an iPod, the app works mm. and you've got... This this incredible this incredible gear this incredible sound this incredible effects everything right there it it just makes all the sense in the world but for those sort of players it, do uh, it doubles as, well. as your normal headphones as well exactly so, that's something so you're you on the plane you're listening to music and then you get to the hotel and then you yep. get your guitar and that's exactly and it like that, so. exactly it so um, multi multi purpose headphones yeah. one thing I am going to do I'm going to get up out of this chair and I'm going to show just how noise cancelling it is hang on Fritz. All right, so with the headphones off, this, this mic, this is a KU100 Neumann microphone system. It's a bi-aural, I think yeah. Jimmy said it's a bi-aural. Really, really interesting microphone, but the idea is that it, it's to give you the perception of, uh, of what, the, what the headphones are doing. So this is the natural sound of, the, of, of what the, the, they're picking up. It's like someone's behind us listening to us. So when we put the headphones on... Sorry, Fritz. There we go, and we start talking again. You can hear just how much they, they cut out. So, a, again, a really, really good sort of practice tool, um, again, for apartment living or tour yeah. life, whatever you're doing. Well, it's, yeah. it's that next step in, like, we get a lot of customers coming in um, for small amplifiers so they yeah. can play late at night and low volumes with a couple of different effects yep. and stuff like that. But And, and the, the effects and things I will touch on as well, they are trickled down, again, from the Waza and the, the Katana, yeah, the Katana kind, of, um, yeah. kind of thing where they've got that, that initial... Um, clean, you know, crunch, lead, brown sound, some of, some effects built in, yeah. you know, delays and things like that. The app, I should say, there is an app that comes with yeah. it. The app will look very familiar. It's very, it, it's that tone studio thing that we, we, we all know and love. One of the coolest features with the Waza Air is that it has this virtual room aspect to the headphones. So we're talking about the gyroscopy. It can kind of image where your head is at. Yeah, so um, there's the, like in the app, and we'll show you in the app, there's these, these three modes, static, stage, and surround but basically the, the, the there's there's one where the amp is in front of you and you move and the amp kind of moves with you yes and there's one where the amp stays um static, static <laughs> and your head moves and it moves with you and you can control where the amp is in the room so say for example you want the amp um you 
12 o'clock here, you want the amp at 2 o'clock, you can move it. Yeah. You know, so it sounds like it's away, it's not directly in front of you. And then the last one is the stage where it actually sounds like the amp is behind you. So it's like backline. Like backline, like you're on stage. Yeah. And, and again, you move your head and it will feel like the amp is, uh, like the, the sound is kind of moving with your head, which is a really, really cool thing. When, when you have headphones with most other, like, amplifying thing like you know effects pedal or something like that the amps right here it's super dry it's just it's, super it's dry yeah. and, it, and it's kind of it, it's a bit uninspiring because it's you don't have that room kind of sound I, and, and that's what a lot of these products have been lacking yep. until they i, come I must this. admit i'm not a fan of playing guitar through headphones at no. all not even recording i hate it because there's this weird you're right it's this weird kind of direct it, it doesn't feel natural. It, no. it don't, you, you know, we're not picking up on a room, and that's something with the the, the Waza Air um, is that the, the, there's this virtual room. It feels, like, and you can actually change the room. You can change aspects of the room through the app as well to make it bigger or smaller. That sort of thing. It, it's a really really cool thing from what I've read. As it, again, I haven't heard this, but yeah. uh, from what the way it's been described, that is the number one thing that people are talking about with this is yeah. how how realistic it sounds in a room. Like you're you're in the room with it. So without further ado, I guess we'll just get into it. We'll take you through some initial sounds. We've also got a little a, a little pedal board to plug in to show you that it can integrate with that as well. So hook in. So I'm really keen. Can I play it? <laughs> can I please play it? I've been waiting. Come on, I've been waiting. All right. Sorry, Fritz. All right. Will I go over my melon? I've got a big head. Ooh, okay. What well, they are really noise cancelling kind of things. Hey. Am I talking loudly? <laughs> <laughs> Is it? It's all right. We're just on a clean sound at the moment. <laughs> so, so where's the amp to you? Um, it's everywhere, man. It it sounds fantastic. I'm just putting it out. This is amazing oh my god seriously bleep that out this is this is unreal it sounds like the amps everywhere it sounds like it's it it's just man wow okay okay <laughs> wow okay there's heaps of effect on there whatever's going on there's uh, heaps of delay and really... reverb and stuff but man this is so cool this is this is awesome <laughs> what, what... Yeah, so that should be one of the ones where you static go. Okay. <laughs> so is it's, it over there? Yeah, no, no, yeah. it's here. It's mainly here in this ear for whatever reason. I must be leaning this way. But I turn this way and you can hear it. You can, man, you can mm -hmm. feel it moving. Wow, wow. Okay, cool, 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 cool. This is awesome. This is awesome. And then we'll go to the lead in the static. Oh, man, man, this is so cool. This is so cool. Oh my god, this is amazing. All right, do All right, the... and then uh, the last setting we're using is the stage setting where it's so this like is the one where it's behind, behind right? You. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh man. Oh, dude, you've got to try this. Oh my god, you've got to try this. Right. This is surround, clean, so it's, clean so surround. It's everywhere. Yep. It's. <laughs> so, you ready, Tompa? Yep. Keep playing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's like going around my head. <laughs> so, if I do this, like, really. <laughs> It sounds like a mosquito's in here. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. I'll go to the next one, Tompa. So. Clean static. State. So th this is your head. Yep. So are you moving it? Nope. Not touching it. So is, you can see the gyros moving. Yeah. Virtually it's here. <laughs> I 
<laughs> All right, I'm going to mess with the ambience here. I want to change the room as well. Okay. So we'll go to the studio. So smaller room. The smaller room? Yep, so this is the smaller room. Okay. Just a bit tighter and... <laughs> I look like a wiener because I'm like, I'm like, I'm trying to find it. There's I'm no, just like... Yeah, there's no, cool, there's no way to look cool when <laughs> no. you see this the first time. I think everyone's going to look a bit goofy. Doing, Ooh, you know? <laughs> but, man. All right, I've got to do the stage. The stage okay. is my favourite, man. You've got to see this. So... What, what Ed has just said off camera, um, basically, if it doesn't sound like it's centred when you change a patch, just press the two buttons and it'll recalibrate it to the centre. Okay? Beautiful. All right, lead stage. Uh, stage. Clean stage. Clean stage! All right, so let's go... Small stage? Yeah, like... Small stage? Oh, okay. <laughs> I've dropped the level of the stage. All right, all right, to Wembley Stadium. Full stage! Yeah, just, it's huge. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Oh, oh so much distortion. <laughs> but I, I can see why you like the stage the most, because Bob does a lot more play, like playing live than me, and like in a rehearsal context, that's what you're used to yeah. hearing a lot of the time, that amp at the back and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, okay, so we're on clean stage clean with the stage. bass. I'm going to add a bit of distortion, a bit of overdrive. You can add more. Yes. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And it has that um, just rumble in like It feels a, like a bass? Does it sound oh, like Oh, yeah, yeah, Like when, when you're playing actually on a stage with bass, it's just that all-encompassing, just low-end rumble, which is like... Yeah, awesome. I'd just like to state that we 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 we're trying to include bass players here because you are people too. Okay, we understand you are people too, so we're including you, making sure you're in, you know you're a part of this. It does have a setting there for for bass and flat response, so acoustic players as well. Look, it's a really really cool feature that they've yeah. they've thought about everybody. They haven't just thought about guitarists. Oh, that that's where I'm going with that. Yeah, but so any basically. Um Ukulele, what else? Oh, they're not there? people. <laughs> they're not people like us. Ukulele, <laughs> come on. Look, any, any sort of, any, I, I guess you'd almost say any instrument, really. I, I, you, yeah, basically, um, even a any piano. Well, or keyboard. Yeah, could you keyboard. use a key, potentially? Potentially, a flat, a flat. If you want, like uh, fat effects and fat stuff distortion like that. and things. Yeah, yeah bro. Um, no, but seriously, like guitars, bass, acoustic guitars. Um, ukuleles, those sort of things. It, it's a really, really great tool to be yeah. able to use and to be able to... And just how responsive that... It's, it's, there's no... I'm not feeling like it's going stut stuttering yeah, as you're it, moving around. It's, it's that's, instantaneous. That's the one thing I will say as well. When I, when I was turning my head, it didn't feel like it was like moving like this. It, it felt like it was moving as I was moving. So yeah. it was really res super responsive. That was the other thing I'll say. It's super duper responsive. I really like it. I'm... I'm 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 uh, tickled pink with this. I like it. I like it. Now I just have to look over here because of the amps over here. <laughs> so we've got our mate here with his headphones on. Hello, Fritz. How yeah. you doing? Oh, he's the quiet type. Mm. Okay, so we are going to give you the virtual experience of moving the headphones and experience what we heard when we had the headphones on. We're going to take you through the presets. Um, yeah. So we're going to start on the surround setting. Yep. Um, this doesn't... As you move, it doesn't move with you, but like yep. it's basically just an all-encompassing yep. kind of... Yeah, really okay, nice. and just so you know, I'm not going to be taking requests or anything. I'm just strumming to give you guys the best example and show you what it's actually doing. So, I hope you like G. So the next setting is the static, where the the amp is in. You can set it in the virtual space wherever you like, and as you move your head, um, it'll be in that spot, basically in your headphones. Yep, and we'll show you on yep. the editor how it's how it's moving as well. It's trippy even listening to it back here. So as you 
can see on um, the phone, basically, as I'm moving the head, the, it's it's mapping it's where you're exactly going. right. And you you know we can actually just quickly. I'm going to change the studio as well, just so you can you can hear that. It definitely shortens it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a smaller room. Cool. The next preset, we're going to uh, go to a lead sound on the static. which is a smaller room. Yeah. Okay. Wow, you can really hear that. Like, that's... Yeah, yeah that's really apparent there with the, the gain up. And so uh, the last two settings is the stage setting. So, so this is the amp behind you. studio setting which is small hear it in the studio monitors. Yeah. As paint, we can like, hear yeah. how apparent it is just yeah. in the studio monitors. It, it's going to be very apparent to you guys what it's doing. So as touched on earlier, it does have the Boss Tone Studio kind of software feel about it yeah. through the app. So that means you're getting the original sort of clean lead, crunch and brown sound. sound. You've got your boosters, you've got your chorus and delays mm. and things. Yeah. Everything's in there and it's all controllable yeah. through the app. And, and just like with the Katana, the original Katanas, there's 50 plus effects in there. So you can Yeah, and three at any one time, yeah. that sort of thing. It, it, that's really straightforward. One thing that we, we, we haven't hit on yet and, and I feel is a really... Um, a really great feature of look i'm gonna say again it's trickle down from modern practice amplifiers is that is the ability to jam along and play along with backing tracks yeah now at most i'd say almost every practice amp that we sell like bedroom blaster amp that we sell has a headphone in and an auxiliary in or some sort of capacity whether yeah. it's bluetooth or whatever to be able to jam along with backing tracks from your ipod or your ipad or whatever you've got this is no different you can actually we mentioned that you can listen to your music on it you can also jam along with backing tracks yeah. from youtube or wherever you're on yeah. and 
It's basically got a separate Bluetooth yep. volume. So there's one for your Bluetooth device, so yep. if your backing track or the song you're playing along with, and then there's a separate volume for your guitar, so you can balance those levels. Yeah. Because that's the, that's the thing. If if you've got the two inputs, it's, it becomes redundant if there's not two separate volumes that you can adjust. Exactly. You've got to yeah. be able to you've got to be able to balance it out. Yeah. So again, this this is. And, and I feel like this is almost, to me, it feels like a, a, a next step in practice amps. Oh, when definitely. you think about it, because it, it's not an amp. It, it's, not a, it's not a traditional amplifier. It's not a box with a speaker in it, right? Yeah. It's, it's headphones, but with an amp in it. <laughs> and yeah. not just an amp. It's all of these sounds. It's all, it's, it's all of these features that make it feel like a real stage. So let's say, for example, we get a, um, uh, someone that buys this as a, as a practice amp. High, you know, highly possible that somebody could could buy this as a practice amp, and they just set it on stage. They've got it on stage, and they're getting mm. ready, and they're, they're sort of jamming and whatnot, and, and just use it in stage. When they go to do a gig, they've got backline or whatever, you know, they're playing. It's, they're so used to having that stage behind them. Yeah, it's it's not foreign to them, and that's and you know, that, a lot of people get that red light fever in their first few gigs, you know, because they're like, oh my god, everything's behind me. I'm in front of people. Oh my god, you know. I have that problem still. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> like not not in front of people, but it's more that like the, where the sound is yeah. compared to where I usually practice. Like yeah. the, your amps in front of you, you got all the knobs there. It's it's the best listening spot, but yeah. in a gig scenario, it's for the everyone the, else. So the, yeah, it's, that's it's it. You're playing for, for everyone else. Yeah. So so what this will teach you is to play. You know, in that stage setting, especially. I think that is the real for me. That's that's the the, the star yeah. of the show for me is that stage setting. And yeah. you you hit on it because I'm so used to playing in a live live environment playing for people playing gigs and whatever i'm i'm so used to having that amp behind me it is so it, it's just so ingrained into me to have that yes. to the point where i i'm i still haven't gone full digital yet i've got i've kind of got this hybrid system where i've got a guitar amplifier that i use but i'm also using um impulse responses out into the front of house and stuff so i've got this kind of weird thing so going you've on. still got that sound behind you so, yep. yeah because as, as an old hard head yeah. you know i've been playing for 20 plus years i like having you like having the, the speaker blow your pants you know, yeah. blow your pants forward you know yeah, like yeah. you've got that you've got that air moving you can feel it yeah. you know that there's something and and when all is said and done you're always heard i think that's that's ultimately what you want it as as a guitarist as, as a guitarist that's what i want um and that stage i really feel gives you gives you that experience that's that's my takeaway from this how much i love that stage setting yeah and like boss um do all kinds of other things like they do keyboards they do all these like um studio monitors and stuff like that they've taken all that technology it's not an amp company that's going oh yep. yeah we're making a, a he pair of headphones yeah, the, whereas you're sort of a bit I don't know yeah. if they'll be able to do it but Boss have all that back knowledge that exactly. they can bring and into everything they do the, yeah. I, I think you'd call it cross pollination yeah. so they've got different different technologies from different areas of the business and the different areas of the companies that are associated with Boss and Roland um, all sort of meet together and the, as I said these headphones like I, 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 as headphones themselves they sound brilliant like they mm. sound really really good um, like I said, though, that stage thing for me, that's, that's, I am so into the stage setting on this. I love it. It's my yeah. favourite. Just having that room. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's, it's crazy how much that room sound can actually make it feel like an amp that you're listening to. Like, I could easily put these on and for two or three hours and <laughs> yeah. just whittle away. And, yeah. yeah. What, but you know what? We have been banging on about this for a while. What we're going to encourage you to do is come in and try them. When they're in yeah. stock, come in and try them. We uh, look, they are such a good thing. These are going to be such a hit, I can tell, because there's nothing else like it. You can always tell when things are going to be uh, uh, popular. I'm calling it, I reckon this is going to be a popular product because there's nothing else like it. Yeah, and, yeah. and when you're listening to these demos, make sure you're wearing headphones. Cause, yes. Because yeah. if you're listening out of your phone, it's. Yeah, you're not going to get it out of yeah. your iPhone speak or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but, you're not going to get it out of that. You know, have some good headphones or some good monitor speakers, whatever you've got, have a listen to it. Because, like, but as I said, come in and try them. Yeah. I think that that's the that's the other thing here. Come in and try them for yourself. I think that, that there's enough in this. There's enough merit in this product. I'm so so confident in this product. Yeah. I love it. I absolutely love it. So that was our overview and look at uh, the new Was It Air. We are super jazzed about this product. I look. 
again, like I, I am so stoked with how good it sounds. I, I'm, I was hesitant at first. I'm like, headphones, really headphones? But I get it. I totally get it. The technology that they've got with that gyro, whatever it's called, the gyroscopic. Gyroscopic. That's the word. I'm not not a scientist. Um, yeah, that that kind of <laughs> that kind of thing. I, I love that. That man, it works. All I can say is it works. Thank you, boss. Thank yeah. you. It works. And we're really glad that we had this. Oh, Fritz. Fritz here to yeah. basically show you the public that um, what it can do. Yeah, it, it's it's been a, a, a it's been a journey, hasn't it, Fritz? Hey, it's been good. You're going to visit us again. Good on you, Cobb. All right. So look, we, we are expecting stock of these very very soon. My suggestion is get your back order in because they are going to be a hot product. I can't stress this enough how good they sound. You need to come and try them. You really do. Yeah, and it's. I think any guitar player can Maybe. benefit from a pair of these. Well, instrument player. Let's, yeah, let's, instrument let's, player. Yeah. Let's just hit on that again. We mentioned bass yeah. players. Yeah. We've mentioned you know ukulele yeah. players. There's there's people with these kind of and virtual instruments as well. You know things like those aero phones and things. Yeah. It could. Key tars and you know what? Why not? Yeah. Why not? It's going to work. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to hit like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. If you have any questions or any comments, hit us up below. You can get us at salesofbettermusic.com.au. You can live chat at our Better Music website, www.bettermusic.com.au. Give us a call. Come and see us in store. Do whatever you got to do if you have any questions regarding the brand new Boss Waza Air. We'd like to thank Tompa. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Fritz. Thanks, Thanks Fritz. buddy. Bye. <laughs> thanks, Lord Lim, for bringing the product down to us. Thanks to Murdoch. And thanks to Jimmy for helping us set it up as well. Yeah, definitely. Yep. <laughs> he, had a, he had a time with this. He loves Fritz. So it's super exciting that Jimmy got to actually see Fritz. He's, I think he said he's been waiting eight or nine years to see mm. this thing. So the fact that we got to integrate it into this video was a great thing as well. I'd like to thank our friends at Sennheiser Australia for that. Thanks for tuning in and rock on. Hey, buddy. <laughs>